ako, mag-solve na tayo, no? Example number one. You ran for 8 kilometers east and then 2 kilometers west. You finished running in 2 hours. What was your average speed and average velocity? Okay? So, ano ang average speed? Ang average speed ay total distance over time. At ang average velocity naman ay total displacement over time. So, isolve muna natin yung average speed. So, yung total distance niya ay 8 kilometers east plus 2 kilometers west. So, sa distance, walang bearing yung east at west. Ina-add mo lang lahat yan, no? Over time, which is 2 hours. So, 8 plus 2 is 10 kilometers over 2 hours, which is equal to 5 kilometers per hour. Okay? So, ito ang unit ng speed. Unit of length, which is in this case, kilometer over any unit of time, which is in this case, hours. So, ano pa yung mga pwede mong gamitin unit? Meter per second, miles per hour, or anything na unit of length over unit of time. Okay? Yun ang unit ng speed. Okay? O, ito naman, average O, ito naman, no? Average velocity is total displacement over time. Okay? So, ano ang total displacement? 8 kilometers east. Dahil ito ay 2 kilometers west. So, minus siya, no? Minus 2 kilometers. Dahil ito ay west. So, minus because it is west over 2 hours and hours so 8 kilometers minus 2 kilometers is 6 kilometers over 2 hours okay so pag divide mo yan 6 kilometers over 2 hours yan ay 3 kilometers per hour Pero, ano yung direction? Kasi ito ay average velocity. Kung matatandaan nyo, ang sabi ko, ito ay vector. So, dapat may direction siya. Okay? So, 8 kilometers east minus 2 kilometers west. So, ito ay 6 kilometers east, right? So, dahil doon, ito ay east. So, average... Velocity is 3 kilometers per hour east. Example number 2. A car ran for 60 kilometers per hour for 2 hours and 30 kilometers per hour in 8 hours. What was the average speed of the car? Okay? So, tandaan natin. So, yung average speed na hinahanap dito ay total distance over time. Okay? Ngayon, yung car, meron siyang dalawang motion dito. No? Sabihin natin na ito ay uh, speed 1 and then ito yung speed 2. Okay? Sa so speed 1, 60 kilometers per hour siya for 2 hours. And then, sa speed 2, meron siyang 30 kilometers per hour in 8 hours. So, speed 1 is distance 1 over time 1. And speed 2 is distance 2 over time 2. Okay? So, isulat natin dito, no? So, ito ay speed 1. At ito ay 
speed 2. So, yung pagtakbo niya ng 60 kilometers per hour for 2 hours, meron yung na-achieve na distance. So, tawagin natin yung distance 1 at a certain time na tatawagin natin time 1. Okay? So, ito namang pagtakbo ng kotse ng 30 kilometers per hour per hour in 8 hours, yan ay may na-travel na certain distance, so tawagin natin distance 2 at a particular time. Tawagin natin T2. Okay. So, given that, yung total distance would be itong distance 1 plus the distance 2. So, distance 1 plus distance 2. At yung time ay yung time na in-spend niya for 60 kilometers per hour which is T1 at yung 30 kilometers per hour which is T2. Okay? So, alam na natin yung T1 at T2. So, wag na natin isolve yun. Ito ay 2 hours at ito ay 8 hours. So, 2 hours plus 8 hours. Okay? Ayan. Ang hindi natin alam yung D1 at D2. Okay? Pero pwede natin yung isolve kasi given ito eh. Ito ay 60 kilometers per hour. Ito ay 30 kilometers per hour. So, masasolve natin tong D1 at D2. So, if 60 kilometers per hour is equal to D1 over 2 hours, then 60 kilometers per hour times 2 hours is equal to D1. So, kung cancel mo to, cancel mo to, matitira ay 120 kilometers is equal to D1. So, ito ay 120. So, pwede na natin ilagay dito yung D1. 120 kilometers. Okay? So, solve naman natin yung D2, no? So, if 30 kilometers per hour is equal to D2 over 8 hours, so, ibig sabihin nun, 30 kilometer per hour times 8 hours is equal to D2. Okay? So, tanggal to, tanggal to. So, 30 times 8 ay 240 kilometers is equal to D2. So, ito ay, okay? So, plus 240 kilometers. So, itong D2 ngayon ay 240 kilometers. So, para ma-distinguish nyo itong D2, okay, ito siya, ito na siya ngayon, 240 kilometers. And then, yung D1, ito siya, D1, nasob na natin siya, 120 kilometers siya. Okay? So, over 2 hours plus 8 hours. Okay? So, 120 plus 240 is 360 kilometers plus 2 plus 8 hours is 10 hours. So, 360 over 10 is 36 kilometers per hour. So, ito yung final answer natin. So, 36 kilometers per hour yung average speed ng car. Okay? So, kung titignan nyo, hindi ibig sabihin na 36 kilometers ang average speed niya, eh yun lang yung itinakbo ng kotse. Kung titignan nyo, may times na 60 kph siya, may times din na 30 kph siya. Okay? Ang mahalaga, pag in-average mo yun, ang sagot ay 36 kilometers per hour. So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng average speed. Hindi yun yung speed ng kotse all throughout the travel. Okay? Yun yung average ng lahat ng speed niya as it was traveling. Kapag in-average mo lahat yun. Okay?